What's going on everybody? John Eric Poli here with my MMA News. And as you can see on your screen, two guests here today, Miranda Granger and her daughter Austin joining me here today. Miranda, of course, fighting Corey McKenna at UFC Vegas 59 on August 6th. Miranda, it's nice seeing you. Nice seeing your daughter. It's been a, been a few months. We did this right before Christmas, so it's nice seeing both of you again. Yes, we're doing great. She's getting huge. So we're just dealing with that. <laughs> So, yeah, let's actually start right there with everything. Obviously, motherhood still fairly new to you and your daughters. Uh, is, she, is she a year old yet? I know it's coming up soon here, isn't it? She's, she just turned 11 months, so it's it's right around, right after my fight, she'll turn she'll turn one. Ah, so how has year one of being a mother been? And talk about that whole experience in the last few months. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's really changed my, like, mental approach to fighting, especially just having to be like more focused and my time and energy has to be a lot more focused now, especially when I'm at the gym. Cause I don't have all day to spend at the gym. Cause I want to get home to her and hang out with her and I have her at the gym sometimes with me. So um, it's been great though. And she's a really chill baby, which I think I got really lucky. She makes me want to have like 20 kids, which everyone's like, that's the curse of the first child. Um, but yeah, she's, she's great. She, she's really good. It's funny that you say that too, because a lot of my coworkers too, they're on like kids number three and four, and they always say like the first one always slept so good, and by number yeah. three nobody sleeps anymore. Everybody's up yeah. all hours of the night. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to ask you too, since uh, the last time we spoke was right before Christmas, how was your daughter's first Christmas, and what was that whole experience like? So fun. You had fun, huh? It was fun. Um, my family went absolutely crazy I and mean, she was just a little baby at the time and she did not need all the gifts that my mom got for her and then we went to Hawaii like right after so that was really cool because that's kind of Kate, Caden and I's like spot is in Maui and we got to bring her there and put her in the ocean and that whole thing so that was fun I'll tell you what, she's living the life, too. So she's been to Vegas so far, goes to Shania Twain, Hawaii, Disneyland. She lives a better life than most pe like grown people do. Yeah, she goes to Vegas like once a month with us, and then she just got back from Texas. She's a world, little world traveler, so. Yeah, she's doing all right for herself there. So now let's start getting into the fight-related stuff here. So uh, last time we spoke, you talked a lot about how after you had the baby, you were uh, doing a lot of stuff with it was called a pregnancy and postpartum coach. So go ahead and first off, just explain to everybody what exactly that is and then talk about all the benefits that you've seen from it. Yeah. So I was working with, uh, her name's Brianna battles and she actually coached me through my whole pregnancy also just kind of like, um, you know, you don't, there's not a lot of information out there for athletes as far as getting pregnant. You can only do what you like see on Instagram. And sometimes that stuff is not good or beneficial to you. So working with her, I was able to kind of like keep myself in check, keep my ego in check. And then postpartum just recovering and getting onto like a basic baseline strength and conditioning program. And Brie has actually been still my strength and conditioning coach through this whole process. So I've been working with her through my camp and we've just upped the intensity and, um, I've never felt better and I've never felt stronger. And I think it's, it's due to her programming and just working with her and being super consistent with my, with my strength and conditioning. Yeah. I didn't actually ask you to maybe extend just a tidbit on that. Cause I did want to ask you from seeing the stuff you post on Instagram, like when you're working out and the training, different stuff, I mean, you look fantastic. Like you would never guess that you even had a kid of how great a shape that you're in at the moment. Just kind of what has this whole process been like kind of getting your body back into shape? Because I know after women have kids, it's not the easiest thing in the world to get back down to that type of weight and in that type of shape. Yeah. The crazy thing is, is that, so for the first four months after I gave birth, um, Brie told me just like, don't step on the scale, just work on your recovery, eat, you know, I was breastfeeding too. So it's like, you need to eat extra calories for that. And I knew like my relationship with the scale and with food, just from being a female fighter had been pretty toxic. And, um, I didn't want to carry that into motherhood and especially put that extra stress on me when I just had a baby, it's unnecessary. So I let my body just kind of relax and recover and get back to where I needed to get to. And then, um, you know, about four months postpartum, I started like really focusing again on my diet and kind of just getting things in check and seeing where I was at. And I went down to the PI and did like a the whole body composition thing and kind of tested those levels and started working with the nutrition team from there. Um, but like I said, I think the biggest thing is just having a structured strength and conditioning program. 
and not wavering from that. I know I get into fight camp sometimes and I'm just like, I just want to spar the whole time. So um, really just like focusing myself and becoming more well-rounded, I think has, has helped me a lot. And you mentioned fight camp there where well, you're going through it right now. You're starting to kind of wrap things up here as fight night approaches. This was, or still technically is your first training camp since 2020. Just what has this whole process been like? How's camp been as you kind of go through all these motions for the first time in two years? Well, I think, I mean, this will be my 20th fight of my career. So I've gone through it so many times, but I missed it. Like for the first time ever, I like missed it. I think for the last few fight camps, I was just, I was just kind of going through the motions and I was like, this is what I need to do. I need to do cardio. I need to do this. And I didn't appreciate it. And having it all taken away from me, this fight camp, I just like appreciate every moment. So I appreciate the soreness. I appreciate being like that dead tired on the floor. It's like, I missed it in a weird way. And um, I think that it kind of just like relit my fire, getting it taken away from me. So this camp has just been great. I mean, I, I love it. I love it. And having my daughter be able to like come to the gym and watch me do it and be around me and having my husband, you know, there all, the whole way. It's just, it's been really, it's been really cool. I say, no, she's in the gym. How is she too? I know you said she usually acts pretty good, but she kind of crawling around playing with all different things in the gym and all that. Oh yeah. She crawls around. I mean, it's all padded. So she just kind of like makes her way and we're, you know, I work on my footwork trying to avoid her. <laughs> so, um, but she gets really into it. Like she, when I start sparring or when I'm like hitting Mitch, she gets like really, really into it and wants to watch. So it's fun because I can look over and just see like, she doesn't really know what's going on, but she's definitely interested in what's going on. And, um, it motivates me too. You know, it's, it's really all the motivation that I need. So definitely yeah. I bet. And now I have a ring rust type of question for you. Cause every fighter has a different take on it. So I want to get yours. Obviously this becomes a big thing for people like me in the media, a lot of fans to talk about whenever a fighter has a layoff. Uh, you said before, this is your, what your 20th camp, your 20th time going through it. You've missed it. Obviously though, you haven't been inside the cage in a period of time. What's kind of your take? Do you think that you'll miss a beat or do you think that maybe you'll take a couple seconds to kind of get going when you get inside there? I really don't know. I, I mean, I I feel like I've done it enough now where I'm going to get in there and it's just going to pick up where it left off. But like I said, my last few fights, I didn't feel that like spark or that joy that I'd felt, you know, in the past when I started doing it. And I think that that's back. So I think I'm just going to be a whole new fighter. And I think just stepping into the cage is going to be different. So ring rest or not, I think the whole experience is going to be different. And I'm looking forward to getting into that. I mean, looking forward to that, like high anxiety feeling as you're walking out. I just, um, I just want that back. And I'm, I'm excited to get in there and show why I deserve to be here and you know who I am. And that spark is a real thing too. Like I know from my experience, like when I was in college, I competed in track and field at, at the end of my sophomore year, I gave it up. I was just over it. it time had you know, passed and didn't think anything of it. And then I got into coaching maybe about three years, four years after that. And man, when, when I got into coaching, I did, I got the spark that too. And I was so motivated to be a fantastic coach. What is that like for you? Like, do you feel that like, like you went from maybe being like, just kind of going through the motions to now where there's like that, you can't wait to get up in the morning. You can't wait to go to practice. Cause that is a, a real thing. Yeah. And, it, and that's exactly what it is. It's like, I'm so excited to go. I'm so excited to get up. I'm excited to be doing this where the last few times I just kind of dreaded it. And I was like, Oh, I, I can't wait for this to be over. I can't wait for this to be done. I just want the fight to be here. And now I feel like I'm like soaking it all in and it's made, I mean, it's made the camp go by really fast and it's made my experience so much better. I come home and I just feel like I'm in like a better mental state. Um, you know, it's much different when I get to come home and like snuggle a baby or, <laughs> you know, just, it just makes, it just makes everything so much better. And, um, I have to leave her sometimes to go to the gym and, I feel like that's like just more motivation for me to work hard and be focused so that I can come back and be a good mom. All right. So now let's talk about your opponent here a little bit. Uh, obviously you've been scouting her for quite some time now. Just what have you seen out of her as an opponent and what are you expecting on fight night? Uh, Corey's super tough. I, I, she can take a hit. Uh, one thing that I've noticed about her is that she doesn't really have a hole that I've seen. Like she's pretty, has a really great baseline everywhere. Um, but I think I do too. Uh, she, she, she looks like she tends to be more of a wrestler in some of her past fights. 
So uh, I've been working on my wrestling a lot and I think it's going to be a fun fight. I think, you know, I have a little bit of a reach advantage, but she gets inside really well. So I think wherever the fight goes, it's going to be a war between both of us. And, um, but stylistically, I think that uh, I'll edge her out a little bit. And I know before I brought up the topic of ring rust, I know a lot of times uh, for fighters, if they see a fighter that hasn't fought in a meaningful period of time, a lot of times they'll try to come right out and, you know, rush out right away and bring the fight right away, thinking that you might be a step behind. Are you expecting that? Are you prepared for her to maybe come out guns blazing there? Yeah, I hope she does. And so I guess what's the kind of like the game plan when she bull rushes you then? Do you kind of just more or less kind of try to stay along and just do your thing that you're prepared if she's going to come right in and try to do that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely prepared. That's what we've been preparing for this whole camp. So um, I got a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Well, we can't wait to see it. I do want to ask now about kind of locations of this fight now too, right? It's in the Apex. Your last fight was in the Apex. A little bit different then. Though. There was no crowd at all for that, right? That was right when COVID was kind of all going on. Still right. now, still not a lot of fans, but there are fans in attendance. Do you get to bring the family out too and everybody gets to sit and watch your fight? Yeah, I know like fighters, I think fighters get like two tickets each. I'm working on getting a couple more just for like my family and for like my coach, Bree, who's been... My, you know, Brianna Battles, the um, strength and conditioning coach, and her husband. I'm going to work on that when we get down there. I think um, there's a lot of fighters from out of the country, out of the you know state. So I don't know if everyone will be using their tickets. So I'm hoping I can bring a few more, but um, really hoping that I can at least bring Austin into the cage once I get that victory. That's what I'm most looking forward to. That would be a fantastic moment. Uh, I do have one other thing that I wanted to ask you with the Apex 2. Do you feel like you're at home when you go there? Because obviously you go to the PI so much. Is it kind of like when you're like a home field advantage type thing whenever you're fighting in there? Yeah, a little bit. I get to go to my, you know, I get to go to my parents' house. I get to get like home cooked meals and all that jazz. Hang out with my family, hang out with my dog. Now hang out with Austin. I get to be in that same family environment that I kind of grew up in um, through my whole amateur career. So it's nice. It does feel like home and I get to sleep in my own be a bed that like is mine, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it, it does. It feels good. And I'm just, I'm thankful for all the support and all the people that have supported me through this, especially my family. So to be there with them in this moment for the biggest fight of my career is going to be really cool. And then last thing before we wrap things up here, do you plan on making a little vacation afterwards? I know we talked before that you like to obviously go out to Vegas quite a bit. You did the Hawaii thing, Disney. Is there anywhere else that you could possibly go? Well, we have my sister's wedding September 3rd in California. So we'll be going down there and we have Austin's birthday party a couple weekends after. So we're pretty booked up August and then uh, going, going down to Cali for my sister's wedding. So we're going to use that as a little vacation, but um, I would like to fight again this year. So I'm going to try to just stay in shape, stay ready. Um, see what, see what happens. Hopefully I, hopefully I get a nice early finish, stay in really good shape and then I can get another one pretty quickly. All right. Well, best of luck and enjoy all the fun stuff too coming up there. It's a lot of big things going on there for your family. A lot of nice stuff. I look forward to seeing all the photos on social media of all that as well. And speaking of social media to close us out, go ahead, tell everybody where they can follow you at. If you have any management sponsors, you got to plug floor is yours take it away yeah i just want to thank um fuel hunt they're a clothing company that has kind of sponsored me through this fight they're making t-shirts for the fight um if you want one the link's in my bio and you can find that at on instagram at miranda granger or you can follow me on twitter at grangerous mma i don't really post there that often but if you want to follow me go ahead <laughs> uh yeah and that's it and then just a huge thank you to brianna battles at uh postpartum athleticism pregnant whatever you know, it's on my, it's all on my Instagram. So, but, but yeah, I, I can't thank her enough. So, yeah. All right, Miranda, thanks again so much for all the time here today. Really appreciate it. A lot of great family stuff coming up there. Obviously the big fight, a lot of great things going on for you. So uh, again, like I said before, really looking forward to following all this along with you here. Uh, just as a reminder though, before I head out today to everybody that watched, just want to thank you guys so much for watching today's interview. If you liked it, please go to the bottom, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, keep going to MyMMANews.com. Check out all of our great work that comes out there every single day of the week. We'll see you later, everybody.